Hello YouTube, it's Juliet. Um, I realize I haven't made a video, uh, or did my next Wiccan video vlog like I said I was going to, but I got really busy. Um, oh, oh, sorry. Um, I'm not really dressed up today. I don't feel like dressing up today, so just deal with my ugliness. Um, I don't know why the camera is making one of my eyes look darker than the other one, but whatever. Um, the video, or the clip that you just seen before this was, um, this is my hair, was, um, my altar for Embolic, and it is celebrated on February 2nd. And with that being said, um, my, this video is going to be about the Sabbaths. Um, starting with Yule. Oh my god, that looks terrible. That looks really terrible. Okay, now that I'm satisfied with my hair for the time being, <laughs> my son's looking at me like, Who in the world are you talking to, Mom? There's nobody in here. Anyways, um, the first one I'm going to start with is Yule. It is celebrated on December 21st. Though a lot of people celebrate it from the 20th through the 21st, that's when I celebrate it. Um, and I've even heard of some of my friends celebrating it on the 19th. So, uh, it particularly varies on the, the website that I'm looking at now, which I go to this website a lot for, for my backup so I don't do anything wrong, says that it, it, um, varies according to the particular date on the standard cal calendar according to when the solstice will occur automatically. So whenever the solstice is um, occurring is when you celebrate Yule. Um, it's the longest night of the year, the turning point when the days shall afterwards grow longer as winter begins its passage into the coming spring. It is when the goddess is in worship, the time when she gives birth, the time when she gives forth again to the birth of the divine sun child who shall be born who shall be both child and eventually lover and father to the next child in the cycle <laughs> um winter solstice is for pagans it is a time of feasting and exchanging of gifts much like the christian holiday christmas i love that that just oh Anyways, uh -huh. um, the next, that, that pretty much um, sums that one up. Uh, it's a long paragraph. Um, I'll put the link up right here so you can come and read all of it. Uh, I'm not going to read all the whole paragraphs that they have here because they're like they're that long. <laughs> and that'll be a long video. So, um, the next one is in Bullock. That is sep uh, September. celebrated on February 2nd. Um, this says here it's not common to all pagans. That is very popular with Wiccans and various Celtic sects. Sects? I'm not saying sects, I promise. Um, I, I follow, even though the um, majority of, of what I believe ties in with Buddhism and Hinduism, um, I, I follow the, uh, Celtic, all uh, the old Celtic ways, so I'm very familiar with them Bullock and I celebrate it every year. Uh, so, if you're, um, if you don't know what Bullock is and you're, you're a Wiccan and you're like, uh, uh, I have no idea what that is, then you're probably not, you don't go by the Celtic ways. So, um, the Celtic goddess of fire and an inspiration as well as yet another representation of fertility and femininity and love. Um, that can pretty much be summed up with the, the ritual that you do for embolic. You light seven um, tea light candles and you chant the um, the, um, the chant um, and it goes, um, 
with fire and love. Uh, I don't have it memorized. So it's it's a very inspirational chant though. It's very nice and I like it. I, I put it as my uh, Facebook status and um, nobody ever noticed it. So that that was very weird. Um, I have to get my son. He's in the water dog or the dog the dog's water bowl. So I do. So I guess Matthew's just gonna chill with me now. Um, he's ten months old now, by the way. He'll be eleven months in two seconds, and next month he'll be a year old. Oh my god! Anywho, he's very hyper right now, and he wants my laptop. Um, the second or the third one, I mean, is Austria, and it is one of my uh third favorites. My first favorite is Salmon, followed by Yule, and then Austria. <laughs> Um, it can be summed up by saying it's the spring equinox, and it is celebrated from March 20th to the 23rd. Um, I don't know why it says that that's celebrate, or, it's very confusing because this is what my Book of Shadow says too, that's celebrated on the 21st, but then it goes to say that it's celebrated on 20th to the 23rd. I guess the main celebration is on the 21st, I'm not really sure. Um, this is when the goddess uh, blankets the earth with fertility as the god stretches and grows to maturity. Uh, like I said, pretty much it's the spring equinox. Um, Bellatane is the next one, and it's in May. Uh, it's celebrated uh, on May Eve, uh, April 30th through May 1st. Uh, it is the most second important to the pagans. Um, the first one is Solomon. Um, it's the, the great fertility rite of life. Uh, that's why it is very important to the pagans. Um, we're all about life and peace and, um, all that. And it's mainly just the union of the gods and, or the god and goddess as they create life. Um, the next one is Lithia. Um, it's the Midsummer Solstice, and it is celebrated on June 20th through the 23rd. Um, it is the longest day of the year. The 21st, June 21st, is the longest day of the year. And the Solstice is the celebration of the light's tri triumph over darkness. Uh, and that that's that's pretty much Lithia right there. That's pretty much. Summarized to a T, exactly to a T. Um, I don't really know this next one. I haven't really celebrated it before, and I have no idea how to pronounce it. Uh, so I'm just gonna spell it. Um, L U G H N A S S A D H, and it's celebrated on August first. I've never heard of this one. Um, it's called the Great Corn Ritual. Of Wiccan belief, um, in Celtic realms, realms, this is the celebration of the wheat god. Um, it's a harvest. Oh, okay, it's the harvest. Oh, the harvesting Sabbath or ritual. Okay, I see. I I don't know why I've never heard of this one. Hmm, that's weird. Excuse you, son. That's okay for you. Um, the next one is Maybon. I hope I said that right. It is the fall equinox. Um, and it is celebrated from September 20th to the 23rd. Um, it's not really an important holiday, it says here. Uh, it's not widely celebrated, and honestly, I don't celebrate this one either. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty much just a weaver's festival. So it's just another harvest festival for the fall. Um, Salmon, yay, my favorite, yay, our favorite. Well, he likes Halloween, not Salmon. As I've said in my videos, I'm not making him do, you know. So yeah, Salmon is pretty much the way of Halloween. 
Uh, it's one yeah. of our important ones. It's also known as the Feast of the Dead. Now, don't go freaking, freaking out. Oh my god, Feast of the Dead! No, it's celebrating, like, your past loved ones. A lot of, a lot of pagans I know, um, carve a pumpkin, you know, and they put up their altar and they put up pictures of their past loved ones. And that's, that's how they celebrate Halloween. And that's what I did last year. I didn't have a picture of any of my past loved ones last year, sadly, because I was at I was living with my boyfriend and I was limited on resources. So I so me and this little munchkin here, however, got to carve some pumpkins. So we did get to do that and that was pretty fun. So yep, that's pretty much all the Sabbaths and rituals there. Um I'm not gonna go into detail on how to do the altars and everything. If you wanna do that then you'll have to research them yourself and put them in your book of shadows because this, that video, this video would just be way too long if I explained all of that. Um, my next video will be on candle magic. Oh my, my hair. I just looked into the camera and noticed that it's off. <laughs> so yeah, um, my next video will be on candle magic and um, I hope everyone enjoyed this one and I hope everyone continues to watch. Um, Bye. Bye bye. Boo boo. Magic. It's watching cartoons. Bye.